assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today i am on this construction site and i will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of this floor beam here we have some common technical terms so let me guide you guys you can see this is floor beam construction design first of all i will guide you for size of this beam Depth of this beam is 20 inches with concrete cover and its width is 12 inches. This beam is designed for three story commercial building. Guys, you can see clearly. At the bottom we have three steel rods. Dia is 20 mm. At the top we have also three steel rods, dia is same which is 20 millimeter. As you can see clearly. And also we have two side bars to the distance of L by 4. These are side bars. Its dia is also 20 millimeter. This bar is just for to the distance of L by 4 not complete length okay guys you can see this is the other column the spacing between two column is here 20 feet so to the distance of l by 4 they will provide also two extra steel rods guys as you can see these are extra steel rods which is five feet to the distance of l by 4 now let me guide you for its stirrups details. As you can see clearly, die of stirrup is 8 mm with the spacing of 100 to 150 mm from 4 to 6 inches. As you can see this is 4 inches, hooks you can see which are bent on 135 degrees so this is the proper design of this floor beam. Most of the students they are asking that to show us the proper design of floor beam so this is the proper design of floor beam we don't have common mistakes in this construction as you can see clearly hooks are bent on 135 degrees so this is the proper design spacing is 1 100 mm or 4 inches to the distance of l by 4 after l by 4 spacing is 150 mm or you can say about 6 inches as you can see This beam is under construction, so they will also provide extra steel rods. They will not use here bent up bar or crank bar. They will just use extra steel rods to the distance of L by 4 to resist negative bending moment. They did not provide, but they will provide. This is the junction between beam and column. So to the distance of L by 4, we have maximum neg negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment extra steel rods are important they will provide three steel rods at top portion and compression zone and tension zone guys you can see we have three steel rods and tension zone and compression zone zone also we have three steel rods to our side bars to the distance of l by four which length is here about 7 feet size of column is 18 by 18 inches total we have 12 steel rods dia is 20 millimeter spacing is here 6 inches or 150 mm as you can see this is the other column if you see guys they did not provide the development length so development length is very important to make a good bond between steel and concrete but they did not provide the development length development length should not be less than its length should not be less than six inches guys you can see these are simply supported beams with concrete cover depth is 20 inches 
and width is 12 inches. Size of the ring is 17 by 10 inches. This is without concrete. If you see in this beam, they did not provide sidebar, so they will provide here because this is under construction. This is not the complete design of this floor beam. If you see guys, one thing here, hooks are provided on the same direction. So it will be provided alternately in floor beam. Look at here guys, you can see in the same direction, you can see the hooks which are bent on 135 degree. it will be opposite of each other. This beam is designed for three-story commercial building. You can see guys the shuttering. So the shuttering should not be used uh, mo use more than seven times. This is wooden shuttering. Guys you can see there is the gap between as you can see size of the beam is same for all beams because all beams are simply supported we don't have the cantilever beam here in this construction guys you can see we have extra steel rods at the bottom also at the top because this is the junction between beam and column but they did one common mistake here because the extra steel rods are not at the distance of l by 4 this is just about 1.5 meter on one side this is about 70 centimeter on the other side about 30 centimeters so this is not okay As you can see, the length between these uh, two columns is 22 feet. So L by 4 distance should be 5.5 feet, where we have negative bending moment. To resist negative bending moment, extra steel rods or bent up bar or crank bar should be placed here, especially in floor beam construction. After this video, I will record steel reinforcement for RCC slab on this side. Hope this short video can help you.